this morning, I am declaring the current outbreak of Ebola virus disease a public health emergency of international concern. The early response um, by humanitarian agencies um, was caused a great deal of anxiety locally and indeed was resisted. We realised that there was a great deal of social and cultural knowledge in the region which was not being incorporated into the response. That there was a gulf in understandings of what was happening on the ground by agencies and that villagers' own knowledge and perspectives were not being able to shape the response in a way that was sensitive and therefore effective. What this platform was really able to do was provide a, a, a place of a permanent workshop, a kind of a, a, a brainstorming network through which any particular problems as they arose could be deliberated and understood from a, a much broader uh, set of viewpoints. I think what Erap did is it had it was able to kind of create a, a platform that people could share ideas and learn and have a conversation about emerging issues and it did that at a number of different levels. The model of a rapid response platform that can bring long-term deep knowledge and advice in real time to inform emergency situations is one that I think has applications in many spheres, important to epidemics and outbreaks in many other parts of the world and also potentially to, to crises and disasters of other kinds, whether they're environmental or indeed food, financial or economic. We're working now with a number of other agencies who are very interested in piloting this kind of, this kind of model. Um, and it depends very much on collaboration, collaboration between those with the knowledge, the deep local knowledge of regions and places and their contexts, 